off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi, welcome to our day I had a friend drop me off something this morning I wanna show you guys And then I have to go donate blood Jason's gonna wait for me and then we're gonna go to Costco, regular Costco run. So I'm, you know, I'm planning this party for our church. We're expecting 200 to 250 people to be there. Um, obviously it's, a, you know, a Christ-centered uh, church. <laughs> so we're celebrating the birth of Christ. Um, and there's one lady that I, I just adore her. She's a friend of mine. And I needed to give her an assignment, if you will. A way to like volunteer to be able to help with this party but a lot of her work commitments um, occupy her time clear into the late later evening and so it's hard for her to like even come to the meeting that I had yesterday um, and she's gonna be gone for our actually actual party she's going to Disneyland with her kids so I kind of knew that she's very creative and she is you're, you're gonna see. So I gave her an assignment yesterday at church and I said, this is my vision. I want something with the manger scene to display for each person or for each family, either option. I said, I'm kind of envisioning maybe like a utensil holder for the plate or some kind of something or other for each family to take home, okay? And she has a budget for it. I think we're gonna have a budget for it. Um, so you guys <laughs> check out what she made. I'm going to show the best one for last, but check out what she made. She made these little utensil holders and then it has the picture of the major scene on it. This is our theme, let him in. And, um, I mean, just how stunning is that? I put the utensils in there and put it on their plate. Love that. Then she did another kind of prototype. These are all prototypes. Look how much that is shining in the light. Um, and the twinkle lights on the table are gonna really like emphasize that. I think it'll be really fun. So here's another option. I just worry that these palm trees would take a long time to weed out. These are just um, Cricut or Silhouette cutouts. Um, I, I love that, <laughs> that glow. But I'm, I'm, I'm worried that this part took too much to weed out. So I have to ask her which one takes longer um, to do. This is just another um, form that she did. Uh, just different, she had different, what do you call it? SVG um, cutouts that she kind of practiced with. Okay, so you think these ones are good. So these are options that she kind of did for me and practiced with or whatever. These ones would be fairly easy she could cut all the pieces out for me and then we could have a little um, put together party. We would gather some of the supplies and a whole bunch of us um, would get together and put these together so that it, that wouldn't take up all of her time. But then check this out. Okay, it's stunning, but wait till you see it in the dark because she went above and beyond. Okay, she has a little light that she attached to it. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? I told her maybe a 3D option, but this is like, I think there's like four layers in there. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. So I need to find out from her how long this one took her. <laughs> because, oh yeah, you can see all the layers right here. These are all the different cutouts. And then they fit together inside this little star box that she made. And then we'd obviously have to have the, the expense of the lights, which they're actually not too, um, too expensive. Oh my gosh. Stunning. All right. So she's at work now. She dropped that off at 6 AM this morning and in a cute little bag. She even like put it in a cute little bag for me. So I'm going to wait till she gets home from work tonight, um, to talk to her about it. I'm going to send her a message though. Like these are stunning. So we've got to decide how much they cost and how much time they will take. Hey, will you open the door for me, babe? Yeah. He's going to stay home and Make do sure that we check the laundry. laundry check the laundry me. detergent. I can't. I don't have time now. So. 
You can. You can do your hair before I get home. And it is a nice rainy day. All right. I was not, in fact, able to donate blood. The first time in my entire life, my iron count was too low. I have donated blood every, almost every eight weeks. There, there are times in my life where I couldn't donate. Pregnancy, post-pregnancy, but I have donated for like the 22 years I've lived here. And I finally had it too low on my iron. Blood pressure was fine. <laughs> so I met Abby at the high school um, to give her our Costco card to get gas. And then now we have missed each other. So now I don't have my Costco card. <laughs> Luckily, Jason has one. Um, but we're at Costco. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to. We're going to look a few, at a few Christmassy things. Um, the kids have all Chelsea's the only one who hasn't given us a Christmas list but everyone else has given us Christmas lists so even though they have links to a lot of things I'm gonna check you know in stores when I'm at the stores I'm not gonna anyway yeah, support local <sighs> Costco is honey it's totally local their headquarters is I understand right that us. I understand that but it's okay you don't do all the Christmas shopping so okay. you don't know how hard it is I don't. Know, but if there's something there, you should just buy it there. Correct. But rather than going home and buying it okay. online. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn him up. <laughs> well, two hundred dollars later, we got Costco done. We were able to get one little gift for Abby for the hospital to give to her the day before. I know it's hard to find <laughs> our Tesla anywhere we go. Um, did not find the plates I wanted for the. Our church Christmas party. I, well, I did find white ones, but I'd have to order like five packs of them. I like the ones that are like this, like that big one back there. Cause there's like, what, 280 plates in it. I can just get one pack. But when you have like the nicer ones, they have less plates in it. So anyway, oh, he just put the thing in there that's for Abby. Um, Yeah, regular food. We didn't find the propel, so we got body armor. And then we're gonna try these, uh, your bays i don't know the little caffeine energy drinks but they're plant-based energy oh so, so it's got to be better it's got to be better i really i had the celsius drink and yes i'm letting him load up <laughs> um i had the celsius drink for the first time the other day and it tastes really good i just don't need that many um i don't need that much caffeine so and neither does abby so we're, we're gonna try these ones and see if she likes them a little bit better all right, I suddenly um, made an appointment to go get my nails done. Um, Jason's gonna go and run two errands. I guess he ordered something through, from Best Buy for the store. So he's gonna go off and do that and I'm gonna go get my nails done and I have determined, um, and I actually, I haven't ever mentioned this, but I think one of you, whether you're here still or not, I don't know, um, actually called some of my salons in my area because of how I was treated at one of those salons. I think one of you called them and told them I had a fungus. Thank you very much because they treated me horribly. Turns out, I don't think I ever had a fungus, ever. I think I'm allergic to dip powder. I've been talking to another one of you who owns a salon and has talked to other nail technicians for me. Um, they think that the dip powder is what I'm allergic to because I got my dip nails put on two and a half weeks ago. My nails were perfectly fine. I didn't even have any fake nails on them. They had healed. There was absolutely nothing wrong with them. I had them do a manicure before. My skin was perfect. I had the dip nails on and within a week, my nails, um, not my nails, my skin, where the dip powder touches as they're doing it, flared up all over again. So unfortunately, I have decided to not get dip anymore. I'm gonna go get acrylic nails put on or do shellac gel. I'm gonna ask them what would last longer. Um, it's unfortunate because dip lasts the longest and it stays on me better than anything else. So it's unfortunate. I wonder if I could park up there. Anyway, so 
I do have an answer, but unfortunately now I can't go to that other salon because I think one of you screwed the pooch for me. Um, to be fair, I didn't know back then what was wrong with my nails either, but like I think that was really rude to do to someone when I didn't actually know what was wrong. So anyway, let's go get our nails done. All right, I finally had someone understand. One, because I had the, the dry nail skin. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to go a dark color, but when she put it on, it was like, I'm like, no, 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 no. So we went with like a little glittery, not quite Christmassy, little champagne color. But she finally understood what I was talking about when like the dry skin, and I think that it was an actual allergic reaction because one of the te nail technicians, not going to my car, she's like, that happened to me, that happened to me. And I, she, again, she talked to someone else who understood. And she's like, yes, it's an allergic, and it's hard because English is their second language, obviously. So there's a, a barrier there. Um, but she said that that had happened to her. And with the dry skin, she even showed me a picture of her, her own nails. And it was identical and she's like itchy and I was like yes it's itchy and it's dry and you put cream on it and it doesn't go away and she's like that's no 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 don't do that and so she <laughs> went and got her phone and showed me the picture of her nails and you know so then I was like yes that's what's wrong and she's like you're allergic yes you're allergic don't do that anymore so we did acrylic and which I I love it it turned out really really good and then she said for a long time, I need to soak my hands in Epsom salt, um, warm Epsom salt water, and then an equal portions of the salt and water. And then put on, what did she say? She even like pulled it up on Amazon. And she said, then get this cream um, and put it on it. A Lamisil cream and put that on. And she's like, try and do the soak twice a day and then definitely put the Lamisil on at night um, and let it really sit on your hands without having a chance of getting wiped off. And she said, don't just keep doing it. She's like, keep doing it even when your nails and your skin feel better, especially the Epsom salt. She said, because that will make your hands soft and it'll get the all the stuff cleansed out of it. So, finally have some answers about my poor nails. <laughs> And a, a way to like still be able to go get nails because I said to her, I was like, I'm so sad. I don't want to be able to come get my nails from you guys. And I even told her like what I think happened at the other nail salon. And maybe someone had called the place I go to, the place I am now. And when I told her that, she, it was like she understood that like that it may, may have happened. Someone may have called. But this salon has treated me with nothing but respect the, all the whole time.